Good morning to all. I am V. Sandhya, Assistant Professor of BVOC Marine Food Processing and Preservation Technology, ADM College for Women, Autonomous Nagapurinam. Let's see about fish spoilage. What is meant by fish spoilage? Fish spoilage is usually accompanied by physical change the physical characteristic of fish. Change in color, odor, texture, flavor, appearance and stiffness of muscles etc. are the some of the basic and common characteristics of fish spoilage. Fish spoilage is a complicated process brought about by the action of enzymes, chemicals and bacteria present in the fish. Usually the food is classified into three types based on the perishable nature. They are less perishable food items, moderately perishable food items and highly perishable food items. Cereals, nuts and grains are uh, less perishable food items and more stable category and the moderately perishable food items are fruits and vegetables. Seafoods are highly perishable food items. Highly perishable food items are seafood because seafood have high moisture content and availability of nutrients for the growth of microorganisms and uh, availability of nutrients for the growth of microorganisms. And the ambient temperature play a crucial role to alter the stability of a product. Seafood have low tolerance to ambient temperature and while moderately perishable food items like vegetables and fruits are um, highly resistant to ambient temperature and non-perishable food items are least affected. Next one is causative factors of fish spoilage. Many factors cause fish spoilage. They are common factors. They are high protein content, high fat content, weak muscle tissue, uh, ambient temperature and high moisture content and hygienic handling etc. There are the most common factors uh, for fish spoilage. Next one is process of fish spoilage. Fish is uh, highly nutritive. It is uh, tasty because of its constants. Uh, the major component of uh, fish are protein, fat and water etc. Uh, fish spoilage is complicated process brought about by the action of enzymes, bacteria and chemicals present in the fish. Fish spoilage mainly occur in the three process. They are dehermatis, autolysis and bacterial invasion or putrefaction. Rehermatis. Rehermatis is the first process. It is one of the process of uh, fish spoilage. Rehermatis is due to Rehermatis uh, is uh, due to physical change in the muscles of fish. Mm, uh, fish spoilage is uh, one of the complicated process uh, brought about by the enzymes, bacteria and chemicals present in the fish. Um, Rehermatis change the muscle, uh, stiffness of muscles. Through the time of uh, onset after death depend on the ambient temperature. Without ATP, myosin filament adhere to actin filament. The muscles become reheated. Reheated motifs literally means a stiffness of death. The rigidity of body after death. Reheated motifs is a good example for the thin term. The most dramatic change is reheated motifs and set off uh, after uh, death. Immediately after death, the muscle is totally relaxed and the limp elastic texture uh, persists for some hours. Reheated motifs is a most common term for latin term. Next process is autolysis. Autolysis is another process of fish spoilage. Autolysis means self digestion. Autolysis is the most common uh, common term for fish spoilage. Autolysis uh, is another, another, another uh, way called as enzymatic uh, degradation which release uh, some enzymatic uh, uh, some autolytic enzymes, so the same thing which degrade the main com major component of uh, fish such as uh, protein and uh, fat etc. Next one is uh, bacterial inversion and putrefaction. Uh, it is a third process of uh, fish spoilage. It is referred to contamination of uh, fish. Change in color, odor, texture, flavor, appearance and the stiffness of muscles etc are the uh, common uh, characteristics of uh, fish spoilage. Spoilage of fish uh, is another way uh, called the putrefaction. Uh, fish spoilage uh, is occurred due to many processes. They are enzymatic degradation, bacterial degradation, chemical decomposition and uh, mechanical handling. How we can characterize the spoiled fish? We can characterize the spoiled fish by observing the some character. Uh, 
and they are change the color texture odor and the appearance uh, next one is uh, fishy smell slimeness on skin and uh, scale discoloration of backbone etc there are the common characters uh, for observing the spoiled fish next one is uh, how to prevent uh, fish spoilage or uh, reduce the fish spoilage fish spoilage is complicated process brought about by the action of enzymes bacteria chemicals are present in the fish um, the activity of organisms can be controlled uh, even retarded or reduced by proper handling and um, immediately lowering the temperature chilling the uh, fish uh, immediately after catch uh, chilling uh, will reduce the spoilage rate many methods uh, to avoid uh, fish spoilage they are drying uh, salting heat drying salting uh, chilling and freezing drying uh, drying is one of the most popular method for preservation of uh, seafood it is natural method this method uh, fish directly dried with the help of direct sunlight and uh, another uh, method is salting preservation of uh, seafood with edible salt it is uh, related to pickling and it is the most popular method for preservation of seafood next one is uh, chilling chilling is a uh, short term preservation of uh, seafood and it is achieved by reducing the temperature using ice next one is uh, freezing freezing is most popular method for preservation of seafood and uh, currently available method for preservation of seafood uh, in this method uh, the fish uh, is uh, fully uh, stored at uh, constant uh, temperature level and uh, freezing uh, after freezing the freezer food are uh, stored at below 18 degrees celsius uh, on or below and uh, fluctuation of this temperature will cause uh, spoilage thank you